I've been in the gacha community for about three years now, and I've learned a lot, but my motivation has also been up and down at times. So, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to stay motivated when making any type of gacha content. For this video, I will be sharing how I stayed motivated while making Meta Runner and Gacha since it's the biggest project I've made so far. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Now you've probably heard this a million times, but it's true, you should always take a break. Making a video for hours at a time can lead to burnout and cause stress. When I was making Meta Runner in Gacha, I thankfully started in the summer. But as school came along, I started to get stressed out with the amount of work I was doing throughout the day. If you're not sure what to do when you take a break, here are some ideas. Of course, you can do many other things than just that, but those are just some ideas. Making an uploading schedule for yourself is important in some cases, but when you're someone like me who doesn't post a series until all the episodes are done, then that plan kind of gets thrown out the window. But a good way to stay on track is to make a due date for your videos. I'm trying this technique myself so I don't know if it will work or not. But the idea is to set a date for when you want your video to be done, and then work your way into getting the video done before or on the deadline. This can help when you want to finish a series and publish it on a certain date. It can also motivate you to keep moving forward and complete your goals. I've done this so many times when making a meta runner and gotcha, it's unbelievable. This method, I guess you could say, is something I haven't really heard about. The idea of this is to continue making your gacha video even if you have little to no motivation. Now, if you've known me for a while, you know I despise making fight scenes. And Meta Runner has a lot of them, so I would always get demotivated when fight scenes came up. But I continued anyway with the thought that it would be over soon. And when I was making them, I surprisingly had a lot of fun making them, even though I didn't want to at first. Try not to have just one big project that you're making the whole time. Try to have little projects in between the big projects so that you aren't getting tired of the big video you're making. When I was making Meta Runner and Gacha, I had to stop and make many other videos because I couldn't stand thinking about Meta Runner 24-7. Sometimes your brain just needs a break from the story you are making and needs something different. Another good way to stay motivated is to share your progress or sneak peek of what you've made. For example, I like to post sneak peeks of future videos on my Discord server. Seeing people's reactions to the sneak peek can boost your confidence in the project, especially if they really like it. Those are all the tips I have for you today. If you like this video and want to see more like this in the future, consider subscribing. And hey, why not watch Meta Runner and Gotcha for yourself if you're interested? Hope to see you next time! Bye!